can't keep the tears from falling from my eyes when to a loved one I have to say goodbye though my heart is breaking with joy I still can say I have this promise, we'll meet again someday. Oh, what a promise, how it thrills my 
soul will be united where storm clouds never roll after the shadows of life have passed away oh what a promise we'll meet again someday oh what a promise how it thrills my soul we'll be united where storm clouds never roll after the shadows of life have passed away oh what a promise we'll meet again someday
I would like to say just one thing tonight. I, um, I felt this in my spirit earlier, and um, it, it really didn't seem right. It didn't fit. It didn't feel like it fit until this song that we sung. But uh, growing up in high school, I was never really a much of a fighter. Um, I guess I did when I had to, but, or, or felt like I wanted to, I guess. But one thing I cannot stand, even to this day, and I cannot stand when someone runs their mouth. I can't. I mean, it don't matter. I mean, it, it, I mean, it, it, I mean, it, I mean, I can go from zero to ten in about five seconds. I mean, I, I used to be able to be the man that, that I could think about somebody running their mouth about me and instantly be ready to fight. But I got to thinking, how many times do I hear the devil run his mouth in my ear and I sit and take it? I mean, there's no way, there's no way that I would let you talk to me like a dog in any circumstance, in any part of life. But now in, in, in the same instance that we can sit, I don't know if you are the same way uh, that I am, but I really feel the Lord in, tell, uh, in saying this. Uh, but you are the same exact way. You wouldn't let anybody talk down to you by, by no means. But you sit and listen to the devil all day long uh, tell you that you're worth nothing, you'll never be nothing, uh, that you're nothing, no, no more than gum on the bottom of somebody's shoe, and you take it day in and you take it day out, and you think about the dreams they put in your mind all day long, and the the thing is, you don't think anything of yourself because the devil uh, tells you that you're nothing. Uh, and I know that we ought to not think of anything above ourselves and what we are uh, because we're nothing but filthy rags. Uh, uh, but you listen to me. You have got uh, uh, the Holy Ghost living on the inside of you. Uh, uh, you've got God, uh, uh, the presence of God uh, all around your life. Uh, and you've got God when you wake up in the morning. Uh, and you've got God when you lay your head uh, uh, down your pillow at night. Uh, uh, you are more than what you think you are. Uh, you ought to have more confidence uh, in yourself than you do. Uh, if God thinks enough of you uh, to live inside of your body, uh, uh, thank God you have got the ability uh, uh, to overcome the things uh, that the devil's got against you. Uh, overcome the thoughts in your mind. Uh, you ought not walk around uh, defeated every day. I'm peculiar. I'm different. There's a lot I'm still working on for me. But Dale, I can't stand for that being my ear all the time. I mean, I'll completely leave the situation if I feel like somebody's talking about me. Because I can't handle it. I mean, I really, I don't know what it is. Maybe something my daddy, the way my daddy raised me, the way that my daddy was. But I absolutely can't take it. And another, another thing that I can't take uh, is, I, I mean, I've had, I, I, I couldn't understand it till now. Uh, now that I've got children of my own, uh, but even more than you talking about me, uh, I can't even stand the thought of you talking about my babies. Uh, I can't even stand the thought uh, of you thinking that there's something wrong with my children uh, uh, and saying all that. I can't stand it uh, when the devil looks at you uh, and he points his finger in your face uh, and he tries to tell you all these things. Uh, uh, that you are for some reason believing uh, uh, we ought to stand together uh, uh, we ought to stick together uh, uh, we ought to stand I know that what you said uh, about Jesus standing in the midst uh, uh, but Dale there's times uh, uh, that I need to be between me and between you uh, and the devil if we're a real church uh, uh, we'll bind together in times like these whenever I know somebody's going through something I do my best to try to text them and say, I'm praying for you today. Maybe I don't even text you, but I even sometimes, most of the time I'll pray. God, let me stand. Whatever they're going through today, let me have that, please. Let me have that, please. So they can get just a little bit of breath. God, let me have that today, please. You say, I never prayed that way. Maybe I ought to try that maybe sometimes. You think about, I'm sorry, but you think about the services that we have uh, that are when we come in here. You know why uh, we have good services at times? Because our mind is in the right state. Uh, our mind and our hearts, uh, uh, they're linked up together. Uh, uh, so the devil knows uh, uh, that if he can get in your mind, uh, he can separate the heart uh, uh, from the mind uh, and you won't get anywhere. There's one person said, if you said you can't do it, you're right. If you think you can't do it, you're right, you can't. 
But if you think you can, you're right also. Because you can do it too. We don't give ourselves nowhere near enough credit. I'm not trying to build up the flesh. Just the very, the, the very opposite of that. I'm trying to help build up your spirit so that you uh, can walk out of here tonight and you can walk into uh, uh, work tomorrow. You can wake up from the dream that you have uh, tonight. You can wake up in the morning and say, I know that it was just a dream. I told Dale the other night or the other day, uh, I said, I have had the worst dream in my entire life. Uh, I woke up, I mean, I wake up in the middle of the night uh, and I go right back in the middle of the dream, right where I left off all night long. Uh, and I was a drug dealer in my mind. Uh, and we went off into this house uh, and I was, I was part of a gang. Uh, I mean, it's just as vivid. I remember cutting a man's limbs uh, off of his body uh, and running away. And the people that I was uh, supposed to be, my my friends now are turned against me. Uh, but the, you don't have to worry about that here. Uh, you don't have to worry about the church uh, uh, turning against you. The devil's a liar. And you are welcome. Uh, you are loved. Uh, and you are part of us. Uh, don't let the devil tell you uh, that you're all by yourself. Every time you find the Bible, somebody was by themselves, they always had a fight. David on the housetop by himself found Bathsheba. Elijah or Elisha, whatever it was, by the brook, wanted to kill, wanted to die. Every time you're by yourself, it's when the enemy can get in better. That's why we've got to hold on to each other. I call Dale every single day and talk to him. If I don't call him uh, by 9 or 10 o'clock, he's ringing my phone. Uh, because we hold each other accountable. Uh, we're there for one another. Uh, uh, you ought to find your two or three people to talk to uh, every single day uh, uh, to let them know that they're not forgotten. Uh, uh, to let them know they're still here uh, and that you're still here uh, and that God is still alive. <sighs> don't let the devil tell you uh, you ain't nothing. He's telling you that because... I mean, the Bible says he's a liar. He's a liar. When he tells you that you're nothing, all you got to say is look back and say, I really ain't. You got one thing right. I really, I ain't nothing. But I'm not me anymore. I'm, I'm, I think I, 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 what you said earlier, I don't even remember that old man that I used to be. I can't even think about the thoughts that I, I can't even comprehend of the, 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 the desires that I had used to have. I can't even think about having, desire, have, having them now. Because that ain't me. That ain't me no more. You can look at the devil when you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, you're right, devil, about one thing. There ain't nothing good. There ain't nothing good of me. But now, Johnny, there's something good in me. There's something good inside me. You say, what is it? Is it? No, it's not brand new. I, I try my best not to make it me. It's a fight all the time between flesh and spirit. I try not to make it me. But if I can do my best when I wake up in the morning, it'll be him that you look at and him that you see. Don't let the devil tell you that you're nothing. Don't let him tell you that you're nothing. Because if you start believing you're nothing, tomorrow you wake up, you'll be nothing. I know that I'm talking about having confidence in yourself. And a lot of people would say that's a, bear, that, that, that's, that's a dangerous ground, and it is. There's a fine line of having confidence in, the, in self as far as the Holy Ghost and the man of God on the inside and having confidence in the flesh. I'm talking about having confidence on what moved in, not what moved out. I know I, that's all I got to say, but do not let the devil talk you out of, of, of a victorious day tomorrow. The sun's going to come up tomorrow, it's going to fall, and then you'll be able to redo it over again on the next day. God, the devil ain't in control of nothing unless you give him control. Trying to convince your self of something different than what you see. It's hard. It's hard to convince yourself that you're not going down when it seems like you're going down. Yeah. 
The devil says you're going down. That's the obvious. Hey, we're scooping out more water. It's falling faster than I can dump it out. Master, do you not care? Now that's a very bold statement to say, shame on them. Hang on. We do the same thing. Moses, I want you to go down there and lead my people out. Can't do it. Can't do it. I can't talk plain. He said, I made your mouth. Can I not put a word in it? The devil always uses the obvious to his behalf. You're going to sink. Do you not care? Oh, but I'm so glad the Lord looks beyond my ignorance and still works His miracle through all my doubt. But the sad part is we have a hard time holding on till the storm is over. God made you just like you are. You're going to die. Next time you go to the doctor, you're going to get this report and that report and this report and that report. Then you might. But God knows what He's doing. I said God knows what He's doing. God knows what He's doing. You're not going down. Come on, talk to me. You're not going down. You're not going down. Do you not care that we perish? Where's your faith? That's all He asked Him. Where's your faith? Hey, we're looking at the obvious. I realize that, but where's your faith? Peace. Be still. And when he said that, Brandon, I never heard one more word about the boat being full of water. All I heard was what manner of man is this? Even the winds and the seas obey him. Amen. They forgot about the wind. They forgot about the water. They began to worship the man that was talking to the sea. Can I tell you, amen, the things that's going on in your world, if you'll just put your faith and confidence in him, you say, hey, I am, but it's hard to hold on. I know what you're talking about. Amen. I'm not telling you something I don't know about, but I am telling you there's a God. I said, there's a God. I said, there's a God. I ain't telling you tomorrow's going to be easy, but I will tell you there's a God. Amen. It can make it possible. Hallelujah. Come on, talk to me tonight. Amen. I want you to know hey, if we've got God on our side, if God be for you, who then can be against you? Amen. Brother Joe, has, he, has the devil said the mill's closed and you'll never make it? Amen. But God, I said, but God's got a storehouse. Amen. That's full tonight. Before the first block was ever laid in Canton, amen, to erect that paper mill, God knew today would come. Amen. God knows he can, if he has to send a raven to feed you, he can do it. I said, God, amen, can do anything. Shame on the devil. Amen. All he wants to do is talk you down. Amen. You know what that old Sam Ballet did? He said, there ain't a fox that run through that wall. Amen. Come down off of the scaffold. You're wasting your time. But you know what Nehemiah said? I'm going to put a sword in my hand and I'm going to work because I ain't coming down. I said, I ain't coming down. Hey, you want to look at the devil tonight and say, shame on the devil because greater is he that's within me than he that's in the world. I said, greater is he. Amen. Who's living in here? The man that made it all. And if we'll trust in him, we'll never fall. Amen. Is it possible to never fall? He gave us a whole list of things, and he said, if you do these things, you shall never fall. Brandon, you hit the nail on the head, buddy. The devil ain't going to say nothing to you as long as there's a heap around you. But the second you get a vision... And pick up the first stone and put it in place and says, I'm going to rebuild some things in my life. I'm going to get closer to God. 
Devil, you're not getting my marriage. Devil, you're not getting my children. The second you say that, he's going to start running his mouth. Sanballat never drew a sword. He just run his mouth. And in doing that, he discomforted the workers because they were weary. I wonder tonight in such a crowd as this, how many people am I talking to that's weary? Weary. I heard Brandon tell me the other morning, he got up and he said, man, I slept so hard. But he said, when I woke up this morning, he said, I had so much strength after resting that I feel like I could take on the world. But the evening before that, I'm so tired. I feel like these people, while we're all standing tonight, I could tell by the spirit that's in the service before Brandon ever spoke, the devil's running his mouth. You might as well just leave the church. Ain't nobody cares. You go through all this commotion of staying out of the world and doing all you do and Look at how the devil's fighting your children. You might as well just quit. You might as well just quit. Am I talking to anybody? You might as well just back up a little bit. I mean, really, come on. The fight wouldn't be near so hard if you just back up a little. You ever backed up a little because he's talked to you? Sure we have. But tonight, I wonder, could you say... I want to go on with God and I want to make a difference in my life, with my life. There's some of you here tonight, the devil's run his mouth. You've done things that if you had it to do over, you wouldn't have done. But I got great news. I read about a man standing between the pillars in the castle and his eyes had been put out, his head had been shaved. He begged God, bless me with your spirit again. The Bible said, how be it his hair begin to grow again. I want to thank the Lord for another chance. I said, I want to thank the Lord for another chance. If you're here tonight and you say, preacher, I want to come to the altar because the devil's beating on me so hard, I just need strength. Has he talked to you this week? Sure he has, a lot. Lot. Talk to me all day long. But he can't stand the Word of God. See, he comes against you through the Word, but you've got to come back with him through the Word. Does anybody need to pray tonight? Say, I'm fighting a battle in my mind, and I need help. It may not be with you and your walk with God. And then again, it might be. Depression's a real thing. I wonder tonight, does anybody need to pray? Say, preacher, I'll be honest. If you could just look in my mind, I'm fighting so hard. And I need help. These people in this building tonight, me included, wear smiles. But you're still so down. You try to be so close to God, but yet you're so down. You teach Sunday school, but yet you're so down. You sing in the choir, yet you're so down. We've listened way too long. You might want to come to the altar tonight and say, Devil, I can't do this by myself, but you're not getting my marriage. You're not getting my children. You're not getting my home. In Jesus' name. Does anybody need to pray? Thank God for these that's in the altar. If you don't need to pray tonight with things going on, maybe God will lay it on your heart to come pray for somebody in the altar. What a God. What a God. Lord, in Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.